Hi, everybody, and good morning. It is Wednesday, January 26th, and we're here for my Monday, Wednesday intro psych class. It's windy this morning. <laughs> my kids said it was a blustery day after a Winnie the Pooh, of course, but uh, yeah, it's windy. So uh, hopefully uh, everything will continue to cooperate with the internet and power. I'm always worried it'll go out when it's windy like this, but um, good morning. Thank you so much for being on here with me. Can everyone hear me? and see me okay <clears throat> if someone could let me know that would be fantastic perfect okay great thank you thank you great that's fantastic that you can hear me i love it uh i hope everyone is uh doing well hanging in there uh i don't know if any of you watched the football games this weekend but it was a wild games a wild weekend of football I could be happier <laughs> if uh, if Brady had won and his amazing comeback that they were mounting at the end, and then the defense blew it. I'm gonna go ahead and blame the defense. Uh, but wow, that was a, that was a game. But the Mahomes and Allen game, the the Bills and Chiefs, that was even wilder. Uh, definitely a weekend of some crazy and fun football games. One of my guys advances, and sadly the other one. Uh, did it, but you know, I'm still, uh, it was so much fun. I'm looking forward to another good weekend of games this week. And, um, uh, yeah, it was, uh, nice to, um, nice to enjoy the football. We got what, like two weeks left of it and then it's over. So anyway, um, uh, our plan for today, I'm going to uh, go over a little bit about last week. So I want to talk a little bit about week number two, give you some feedback on the discussion. Uh, we'll look at the requirements for this week. Some of the things that we have going on um, for this week. And so we'll, we'll cover that a little bit. Um, I'll give you the Twitch extra credit question, and then, uh, I will see if you have any questions for me. And, uh, I see Jasmine, I see your question here. You forgot how to connect your account to Amazon. Um, I'll show you a little bit later if that's all right. Um, when I, when I give you the reminder about that, I can, um, I can remind you how to do that, um, in a little bit. So I'll get there. If I forget, remind me. Um, <laughs> uh, I do want to mention really quickly. So I sent out an email uh, and I'm sorry if it uh, panicked or confused any of you, but I did hear from um, the chancellor of the community college district and then also our president and vice presidents and so on. It sounds like the plan as of right now is for us to resume in-person classes on Valentine's Day. So on Monday, February 14th. Now, uh, of course, that could change at any time, but it seems like our numbers are going in the right direction. It seems like the college really does want to try and get back into um, in-person, like uh, all of you signed up for an in-person class. Um, and so I think the college is trying to get back to that. So as of right now, we have been told to prepare our students uh, for a return to in-person learning on Monday, February 14th. So if that is the case, we will go back uh, in person, and this class will be Monday, Wednesday, 8.30 to 9.45 in person, like uh, like it was supposed to be. Uh, I'm trying not to think about it too much quite yet, because as you all know, uh, you know, things could change at any, at any time. So uh, for now, what we will plan on is we will continue virtually uh, for the next uh, three weeks. So this week, next week, and the week after, and uh, we are tentatively planning on resuming in-person instruction on Valentine's Day. So uh, we'll see what happens. If I find out anything else, I will, of course, uh, let you know and pass that information along. And uh, when I figure out what that means for us and how I want to approach that, um, I will talk about it more with you as well. So I'm just kind of starting to think about what that might mean and what that might look like and how we adjust. Um, and yeah, that's complicated. So uh, we'll see what happens, but I just wanted to let you know as much as I know uh, and pass that along to you. So I'm sure some of you have questions. I wish that I could give you more at the moment, but for now um, and for the next um, couple of weeks, we will continue virtual and then we will um, reevaluate and see what happens after that. So um, again, that's all I know for now. And uh, as soon as I hear anything else, I will pass it along to all of you. 
So um, let's go ahead and go over to, to Canvas together and uh, take a look at last week and uh, some of the stuff going on for this week and, and all of that. Uh, so we are officially, as of Monday morning, we're officially in week number three. Kind of feels hard to believe that we're already in week number three. Like it's going so quickly. And <laughs> Normally spring semester goes so slow, um, though I've probably just jinxed it, right? <laughs> but um, let's go back and take a look at week number two before we move forward. So uh, last week we were covering the topic of psychology as a science, right? So we we're looking at how do we think scientifically. Um, I hope you uh, watched all the lecture videos and, and watched all the videos and things that I included in there to try and help you out with that topic. Um, I also had posted the recording of our live stream last week, like always. Uh, so let's look at discussion number two really quickly. Um, and just to give you some feedback so you can continue uh, to understand my expectations and uh, and hopefully uh, continue to grow and always do better. Remember that with the discussion, right? So last week, your your topic was, if you could research anything, what would you want to know? How would you research it? How would you set it up? Advantages and disadvantages, and then ethical concerns. And uh, there were a lot of really fun and interesting topics that people came up with. There was some um, stuff about like how... Uh, how COVID is affecting your health, how many people have had COVID. Serial killers was popular. A lot of you had questions about um, serial killers and wanting to know more related to that and forensic psychology, but lots of really, really interesting topics. So um, I enjoyed reading all of the things that you would wanna know. Uh, the area that I saw people struggle the most in terms of, of getting full credit uh, was on this second bullet here. So a lot of you did a beautiful job in talking about what you would wanna know and why and why it interests you. But it was this second one where I was looking to see that you could connect what you wanna know to the specific content that we covered last week, which was looking at different types of research methods um, and you know what they're appropriate for and so on. And so what I saw is that some of you um, didn't really describe very well how you would set this up, how you would go about doing your research. So for example, I saw a lot of like, well, I would use a survey and ask some questions. I wanted a little bit more, right? Like what kind of questions would you wanna ask? What would you wanna know? Um, kind of elaborating a little bit. And so I found that I gave quite a few of you the piece of feedback of um, don't forget to elaborate in your responses. I wish you had given me just a little bit more. Uh, so remember to always try and, and show off your knowledge and comprehension Better to give me too much than not enough um, with these discussions. So if you found that you uh, missed a couple of points because you didn't elaborate enough, just make sure that this week you try it and give me a little bit more so that you can get closer to um, getting full points. And uh, as always, if you ever want to know more um, kind of specific or individual feedback, you can always email me and uh, um, I would be happy to uh, give you a little bit more related to that. Um, the other thing that I saw is uh, some of you still forgot to respond to a classmate. So remember, and, uh, and I'll remind you when we talk about this week as well, don't forget that you um, need to read through a minimum of five of your classmates' responses and then reply to one of them. So 13 points for your response to my questions, but then two points for responding to a peer. And uh, I know it only sounds like, you know, it's not a lot of points. Two points isn't a lot but you don't wanna miss out on those two points every week or they will start to add up. So um, again, for the most part, really, really interesting. I loved hearing about all the things you would like to research. Uh, just make sure that you're elaborating and giving me uh, enough information, right? And, and that was really the biggest thing that I saw other than remembering um, to also reply to a classmate. So um, that was the, the topic for last week. A lot of you also did the extra credit question, which is fantastic. Uh, you should be free at this time to join me. So I love that so many of you are um, are on here and that you're participating and getting those bonus points, which will only help you, uh, you know, throughout the course of the semester. This week we move on to week number three, and we're talking about biological psychology. So looking at neurons and the brain and the nervous system and all of those kind of biological elements. Uh, really quickly before I move on, are there any uh, any questions, comments, thoughts, anything related to week number two or any questions about last week before we move on, on to this week? Uh, remember that um, I am giving you grades for every discussion. 
And so if you're having a hard time finding your scores, if you scroll up, there is this page here about how to find your feedback and your grades and how to use them as a learning opportunity. Remember that I'll always grade things on Monday um, and I will send you that, that feedback Monday night uh, so that you can uh, have it as you move into the next, next week. Okay. No, not yet. Thank you, Cynthia, for letting me know. I'm, I'm glad uh, no questions so far. If you think of anything at any point, of course, feel free to put it uh, into the chat and I would be happy to answer it for you. But otherwise, as I mentioned, as we move into week number three, uh, we're talking about biological psychology. So order of business number one uh, would be to read chapter three in the ebook. So make sure that you read through the chapter, all of the little boxes, look at the pictures, get that nice broad overview and kind of summary of chapter three. Uh, remember those um, chapters are really important to be reading. Um, so make sure that you're doing that. And then you'll come on to here and you'll read through the lecture and watch the lecture video. So if we look at the lecture really quickly together, remember that these always have that um, five page format up here at the top. Page number one is objectives and summary where you can uh, go, you know, what will I learn in this chapter? A quick summary of what we are going to cover. Uh, you can also listen to it, of course, if you'd rather. Beyond the book, um, so here I have a couple of things that might be helpful for you in understanding. Uh, this one I think is really nice. It goes over the three different types of neurons, a little like tutorial. I have a couple of these little videos um, throughout, and I think they're really, really helpful. Even if they're not the most exciting, they're helpful. This one is all about action potentials and how they work and neurotransmitters. A little bit about studying the brain. And then there's a video that I made uh, about the 10% myth. Uh, which will definitely come in handy for this week's discussion. Uh, so I might uh, recommend that you watch that, take notes. Again, anything that I put in here, watch it, click on it, explore it. All of it is going to help you with understanding the materials for this week. In pop culture, here's some things that connect to popular culture. Uh, a little clip from The Walking Dead way back in season one, <laughs> so long ago. It's funny to see all the people who were alive and, and little uh, little Carl, right, uh, in this clip. But uh, go back and watch this, um, and this gives you a little clip about neurons. There's also a little video here about um, parts of the brain from the Animaniacs, which I think is a little um, catchy. It might get stuck in your head. And then a video about the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, uh, which relates to motor neurons that we're talking about this week. Page four, these are all the key terms that you need to know from chapter three for the exam. So again, if you wanted to be preparing a little bit at a time every week, these are the terms that you would want to review from this week um, to make sure that you are, are kind of uh, in a good spot for that first test. And we have our first exam next week. I'll talk about it a lot next week. It's obviously going to be 100% online. Um, and so next week I'll go over that. But if you wanted to prepare a little bit, uh, you could start reviewing the terms from this lecture. And then finally, on the last page, um, I have a little bit about application. Now that you've read through the chapter, how could you apply this to your life in some way? A little bit about understanding spinal cord injury and the importance of experiences. So make sure that you, um, again, are clicking through everything, reading everything, or, or letting me read it to you. Watch all the videos and all of that kind of stuff. The other lecture component, as usual, and again, trying to have that consistency so you know what to expect every week, um, is the lecture video with the PowerPoint slides. So um, this one I was able to post on YouTube because there aren't any outside clips um, that would be copyrighted. So uh, make sure that you watch this, take notes. Everything that is in here uh, will appear on the exam. Um, and so this is me lecturing to you like uh, it sounds like maybe I will be doing in the near future in person. Uh, I don't know about all of you. I got a lot of anxiety about that. I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone. Um, but again, we'll deal with that when it comes. I'm trying not to think about it too much quite quite yet. Uh, so those are the kind of big uh, content related things. Make sure that you read the chapter in the ebook, read through the lecture, watch the lecture video. And then as usual, you do have a discussion to do this week. So discussion number three. As always, you'll see the instructions up at the top. Make sure that you watch my little um, brief introduction video where I go over the topic and give you some pointers and tips. Make sure that you respond to my questions 
and then also reply to a classmate. So same instructions as every week. But reflecting on this week's topic, you're going to think about what are neurons and why are they important? So you'll describe what they are. You can share some attributes or elements that describe them and, and highlight what they are and what they do. You're going to reference the specific chain of events and processes involved and describe how neurons communicate with each other. And I will tell you that this is traditionally where people lose points. Right? So I'm going to give you kind of that little heads up right now. Make sure that you elaborate. I really want you to tell me how do neurons communicate? What are the different processes involved? This should be like a good solid paragraph of describing the chain of events that occur when neurons communicate with each other. And the lecture video is going to be really helpful. Those little tutorial videos that I just talked about in the um, Canvas lecture will also be helpful. But this is where I traditionally see people not give me quite enough. So I'm just pointing that out to you um, as a way to help you uh, get full points. Then what you'll do is you'll read these little articles about the 10% myth. I also made a video about that in the lecture if you wanted to watch it. Um, I kind of go over some of this in there as well. But there's a couple of articles here about um, do we use only 10% of our brain? And all three articles are short and they're kind of getting at the same thing in, in slightly different ways. Um, I also recorded them if you wanted to, to read them. But make sure that you read through the articles and then you're going to answer two questions. Uh, what are the origins and beginnings of the 10% myth? And then give me two reasons or pieces of evidence why the 10% myth is known to be false. So this is a very, very common myth. Uh, my mother-in-law says this all the time. Like, can you imagine if I had more than 10% of my brain, uh, you know, how powerful and strong and, and intelligent I would be? Um, it's definitely a myth, and uh, you get a little chance to read about that and explore why we know it to be false. So uh, make sure that when you're ready, you hit reply, and you're gonna answer my questions. And then once uh, your classmates start answering, um, you will also reply to one of them. So those are the usual kind of things for this week. Um, again, uh, reading the chapter, doing the discussion, the lecture video, there is an optional Twitch extra credit like usual, and I'll get to that in a minute, but there's one other little component um, to do this week. And this is something that I added this semester, something new. Um, the college is really pushing these little um, kind of check-ins and surveys. And I think, you know, given the unknown state of things, and especially all of you signed up for an in-person class and we're online, um, I think this is a really good opportunity to kind of reflect on where you're at. So um, there's this little survey here that I want you to take. So if we click on this, <clears throat> It's just a couple of questions um, kind of reflecting on uh, your experience with the class so far. So we're in week number three, we've completed two full weeks, and I want you to take a few minutes to help me understand uh, and respond to your needs, right? So it's basically, it's just a couple of questions. Your responses are completely anonymous, so feel free to be honest. I won't know who said what, um, and this is available to the end of the week, right? So you have the entire week to complete this. And so if we hit take the survey, what you'll see is it's basically just two questions that are open-ended so you can uh, type your responses. And as I said, this is anonymous, um, so I won't know uh, who said what, and it automatically um, kind of populates when you're done. So with this, um, the questions are, are you comfortable with the course website and requirements after reading the syllabus, mandatory orientation materials, and completing the first two weeks of required content? If not, please write a short explanation of how I can clarify. Is there anything you're confused about? Anything that wasn't quite clear to you? And then um, number two, do you have any additional questions or comments about the course, course readings, assignments, or class structure? It won't hurt my feelings if you leave this blank or if you don't have any, um, you know, don't have anything. Remember, everything is anonymous. So please try and write something. And if you don't, um, if you're feeling clear about the class, write that here. I'm feeling comfortable and clear, I'm good. And that's fine. That's great, actually. Um, if you have any other questions, put them here. And if not, you can say, I'm feeling good. I don't have any questions. Uh, I'm not confused. But this is an opportunity for you to kind of uh, ask me anything or let me know anything that's confusing to you so that I can constantly make the class better and make sure that everyone is on the same page and feeling good. So um, again, this is completely anonymous. Um, and so make sure uh, that you are honest in your responses, okay? Uh, so 
those are the big things for for this week. I do have a couple of um, reminders, and then I'll give you the Twitch extra credit question. But are there any questions for me at all before I um, talk about the reminders? Any any questions, things you're confused about, uh, anything like that uh, before I give you my reminders and the extra credit question? <laughs> my cats are like running back and forth like maniacs because of the wind. <laughs> it always makes them crazy a little bit. Uh, so while I'm waiting for all of you, um, let me give you a few reminders. Um, the first one, right? Don't forget, as with every week, uh, please take a moment to make sure that you're subscribed and check that, sub that subscription status. We're in week number three. So next week, what you'll see is a lot of you who subscribed for free, your subscription will fall off. Remember that it's only good for 30 days. Um, it's free for 30 days, and then all you have to do is renew it. Uh, but I know that somebody asked me earlier, who was it? Um, Jasmine, you asked me earlier, how do I connect your my account? And if I look at the names here, I can see um, Jasmine, Andrew. It's just Jasmine and Andrew. Um, both of you did the hard part. You have the little crown next to your name. So both of you did the difficult part of linking your Twitch and Amazon accounts together, but you forgot to do the last step. And so you asked me how to do that. Let me show you really quickly. Um, if we go to Twitch, and again, I can't show you on my channel, so I'm going to show you on my friend's channel. And there are, I think I have 300 students and only um, about like 50, 60 of you have gone through this process. And um, obviously there's a variety of reasons why people might not do that. But if you can figure it out, I do appreciate you doing that. As I said, it saves me so much effort. So, so thank you for that. Um, but here I'm on my friends page, Nikki and Steven here, Sticker G. Um, okay, let's see. So um, what I'd like to point out here is right underneath there, uh, underneath the channel, there's this purple scroll down. Um, I'm not sure why you can't see it. It's over to the right, right? So you see how you see their face? It's right over here to the to the right. I can't scroll over for any reason. Um, let me see if I can make my area here any bigger. I'm not sure that I can. Let's see if that helps at all. I'm not sure that you can see it, but either way, underneath their name, um, uh, you can almost see it on the screen, but you can't. It's, it's right here. Okay, I'm, so, I'm updating it on the screen. <laughs> Let's see if it shows up. But when you click on the down arrow on that purple bar, it brings up this box, which you can see in the middle of the screen here. Um, and when you scroll all the way down at the bottom here, see how it says use prime sub? If you click that box right there, and then you click the purple subscribe um, for free with Prime. That is the last step. So um, the two of you that I pointed out only have um, the crown next to your name. That is the last thing you need to do. So you click all the way down at the bottom. Um, so if you scroll all the way down, there's this little use Prime sub box. You click that and then click um, subscribe for free with Prime. Okay, so um, that is the last step that you uh, that you need to do if you haven't done that already. Uh, look, Jasmine, you figured it out. See, perfect. Um, that is your last part, and then you're, you're set. So now you'll have the little football um, icon next to your name, and you're good to go. So just double check that every week. Thank you again for those of you who saved me a few steps. Um, if you are subscribed, you don't need to put your name in the chat. If you aren't, make sure you do put your name in there at some point today. The next reminder, I have our next Twitch live stream will be on. You're welcome. I'm glad that helps. Um, we'll be next week. So our next Twitch live stream will be on February 2nd. I can't believe next week is February 2-2 two, two, at 8.30 in the morning. Okay, so our next Twitch live stream will be next Wednesday morning on the 2nd at 8.30. And again, um, looking at the calendar here, um, hopefully you can see that on your end. Uh, we will meet online next week. Right, and then uh, we will meet again online. Uh, so that's March. We'll meet online again on the 9th. So we'll have two more live streams for sure. Uh, and then after that, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So as I mentioned earlier, we are tentatively scheduled to go back online or in person on the 14th. So two more weeks of live streams after this week, and then we will reevaluate uh, depending on what they on what they say. Um, the other thing I want to give you is the Twitch extra credit. 
question for this week. Um, so I wrote it down up here. And this is something that's going to help you with the discussion. Okay, so I'm kind of uh, trying to point you in the right direction with the discussion prompt. Um, so your extra credit question for this week is what is meant by electrochemical communication? All right, so we're talking about neurons and how they communicate with each other. What is meant by electrochemical communication? Describe both pieces of how neurons communicate with each other. So I'm putting that in the chat right now. What is meant by electrochemical communication? And describe the electrical piece and the chemical piece, right? What is the electrical part and what is the chemical part? And if you watch the lecture video, I go into this in detail, um, and that should be really helpful for you. And then when you get to the discussion for this week, that second question about how neurons communicate, this uh, electrochemical piece is something that you could bring into that, and, and you definitely should bring into that. So hopefully it helps you a little bit with your discussion response for this week. So when you're ready to answer that, you'll go back to Canvas. And since we're in week number three, You'll click on optional Twitch extra credit number three. And then up at the top, there's the little box here that says start assignment. So if you click on that, it'll bring up the text box down here where you can type your response, right? And um, when you're done typing your response, you can hit submit and you'll get that little um, confetti burst um, oh, look, and I got presents today. Confetti burst and presents. Sometimes it's a it's thumbs up and you never know. So that's my favorite part about that for sure. But um, you go ahead and make sure you do this anytime before Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. That's the deadline for everything this week, as always. And if you do this early, um, you do have the opportunity to do it again if for some reason you get it wrong or you answer the wrong question. A few of you last week answered the wrong question. Uh, stream question. So make sure that you're always watching the correct stream. If you're on here with me right now, this is my Monday, Wednesday intro psych, you're in the right place. And remember, I will post a recording of it um, when we're done today. I'll start that process of downloading and uploading. And there will be a recording right here that's linked to YouTube that you could watch later if you missed it or if it cut out on you for some reason, or you had to leave early or, or whatnot. So um, those are the things to get going on for this week. Again, really quickly, read the chapter in the ebook, read through the lecture, watch the lecture video, discussion number three. Don't forget that little survey, that little checking in survey. Let me know how you're feeling, if you have any questions or things you're confused about. Um, the optional extra credit that we just went over. Um, and then of course, there's that wrap up checklist. If you wanna make sure that you've done everything, um, you could look at that really quickly as well. But remember that everything that is under week three is what you need to do for this week. So it's all there. Just make sure you do all of it. Um, and that is, I think, everything that I wanted to um, to share with you. Are there any any questions or anything for me? Uh, how are you all feeling? Are, is anyone excited to go back? Are you nervous to go back? Both? Where, any, um, any thoughts about that? Uh, part of me is excited to go back in person because I miss seeing all of you. It's uh, it's weird to not see anyone and just to teach to a black screen. So part of me is really looking forward to that. Uh, though I, I'm not looking forward to trying to teach wearing a mask and uh, I don't know what that's gonna look like. So um, I don't know if any of you have any any thoughts of, about being excited or being nervous or, or both. If you do, feel free to put them in the chat. I would, I would love to know where you're you're at with that. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the chat as well. You're excited to be in person. It's easier to have discussions and connect with people. Oh, for sure, right? Uh, it's a little isolating being online all the time, right? And not seeing anyone. So I think there is a definitely a nice element to seeing each other. Uh, you would like to go back and get to meet all of you. Uh, I, I personally learn hands-on a bit better. Yeah, for sure, right? Thank you for those of you who are sharing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's interesting, I love to teach online, but I don't like to take online classes as a student. Um, I always have learned better in person um, rather than online, but I, I do love to teach online. So, you know, I think we've made the best of it. And, uh, you know, hopefully after the next two weeks, we will be back in person. I might do a little bit of like a hybrid, you know, where we have some days that are virtual, uh, but mostly in person. Uh, I'm still kind of trying to think about that a little bit. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But thank you for those of you who 
who shared your your thoughts. It's nice to know that some of you are really looking forward to it. I'm excited about it, but like I said, uh, I will definitely be a little nervous about it about it too. So anyway, um, that is everything that I have to to share with you. So we're kind of officially done with our time. If you need to uh, to take off and, and and go, I want to be mindful of your time. Um, I will hang out for a little while if you have any questions for me about the content or just anything related to the class. Um, I will hang out. I, I am here. Otherwise, I, I hope you all stay healthy. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful, um, wonderful week. You know, I really, uh, again, I hope you're all hanging in there. And uh, I look forward to hopefully meeting all of you. That'll be exciting. Uh, someone said, thank you for making this class so easy for people who don't do well online. Oh, well, I'm glad. Thank you for, for saying that. Um, I'm very, very organized, and I think that helps. Um, I'm very uh, good with online format. And uh, hopefully you'll feel the same way if we meet in person. So <laughs> we'll see, right? Um, you're welcome. Thank you for, thank you all for for trying to adapt. I know this is um I know this is difficult and it's overwhelming at times. And uh, all we can do is make the best of it, right? So thank you. Uh, I'm gonna minimize my video, but I will hang out uh, for the next like eight ten minutes or so. If you have any questions for me, feel free to put them in the chat. Otherwise, get going on all the materials for this week. Um, have a wonderful week and uh, enjoy, hopefully, some good games this weekend. Go Chiefs That's what, and go Rams, I guess. <laughs> I can't vote for Brady anymore, so I'll vote for the Rams um, and Cooper Cup. But uh, have a wonderful week. I'm going to minimize my video. And again, uh, if you have any questions, I am here and feel free, feel free to ask. You too, Zoe. Thank you. Thank you as well, Jasmine. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week to you as well, Kramer2411. <laughs> Right, I'll have no chance of uh, connecting your Twitch names to your real names, right? I'll have to relearn them when we get uh, when we get into per in person. <laughs> And again, I am still here. If you do have any questions, feel free to uh, to put them in the chat.
I've answered all of my uh, emails, Melanie, so um, I'm not sure if maybe it didn't go to the right uh, location, but I, I'm actually looking at my email right now as a, as I'm waiting to see if there are any questions, and I don't have any emails that are unanswered. So uh, unfortunately, you can't go back and make up um, the extra credit in the past, but you can definitely do it this week and, and every week that we have it moving forward. So uh, please feel free to um, take advantage of that, especially since you are here but um, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to email me. That's strange that, uh, that I didn't get it. Sometimes people don't put enough um, C's. My email is, I'm putting it in the chat here, um, esetmeyer at vccd.edu, um, which is also on the, on the syllabus and everything. But uh, I don't have any unanswered emails, so um, I don't know if it went to spam or if it was sent incorrectly. Uh, but, yeah, unfortunately, you can't go back uh, and make it up because it's closed. But you can definitely start this week. Uh, and get going on that. All right, everyone, it looks like um, there's only like one or two of you left on here. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, uh, get them in the chat now. I'll just take like another minute or so, and then I'm going to close this up so I can uh, start downloading it and upload it to Canvas. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. I'm sorry for whatever reason, Melanie, that your, uh, your email didn't get to me, but that's my uh, email address. If you do have any other questions, uh, feel free to, to reach out. And I'm glad you asked me here. Uh, it's nice to be able to respond to you quickly. And, uh, and live, so that's fantastic. And uh, I hope you all have, again, a wonderful week. And if you think of any questions later on, please feel free to, um, to email me. I'm here uh, and I will definitely get back to you quickly. <laughs>